Hi, my name is Mika. I'm the Chief Stew on Motor Yacht 7. And my tip of the day is something that helped me in the last four years, at least in this boat. It's communication and knowing your guests sometimes better than they know themselves. Uh, not necessarily knowing their expectation, exceeding their expectation. You know, you take people from real world, you bring them on board. So while they're here, they have to live their fairy tale. So whatever they think, you have to anticipate before they even going to speak out. Uh, I learned that uh, knowing how they want their coffee, knowing how they want their meals, knowing the smaller details of their life makes a huge difference. So that helped me a lot and made me probably be uh, one of the most successful chiefs to own this boat at least. And we had a lot of returners and they appreciate what we're doing. So keep in mind, knowing your guest is one of the most important things. Hi, I'm Julie Spence. I'm Chief Stew on the Motor Yacht Silver Lining. And my stew tip of the day is table setting. I like to often do layering. Uh, I find that the more layers that you use, in other words, these are three separate placemats, um, the more depth it gives, the more height it gives, and the more wow effect it has when your guests come to the table. Hi, I'm Logan on Silver Lining, Second Stew. My tip of the day today is a simple, elegant napkin fold. All you have to do, and I actually learned this this morning on YouTube, start with a square just like this, fold it in half and in half again and then triangle just like this and then kind of feather it through, flip it over holding that side down and do the same to this side and then put the napkin ring through. This is where it gets kind of tricky and you kind of have to put your arm down like this. Very simple fan. My name is Leilani and I'm on Motor Yacht Serenity and my studio tip of the day is keep calm and breathe. Namaste. Hi, my name is Cece. I'm from Motor Yacht Ocean Club and my tip of the day is about wine storage and inventory. So it's a new app called VinoCell. You can get it on the App Store. It's free. Um, on board Ocean Club we carry over 300 bottles of wine at any given time. We carry some that are always chilled, some that are in dry storage, various places. Uh, the app is really helpful because you can take a picture of the, of the wine bottle and it will inventory it for you, tell you how much it's worth, it will go up in price, when it's going to go up in price, when it needs to be turned, when it needs to stand up, all of these different things, when it, what date it needs to be drunk by so you don't serve your guests bad wine. Um, it's extremely helpful as well because some people are very visual, instead of sitting there and listing all of the wines that you have, you can always just hand them the phone or the iPad and they can scroll through, they can see it visually, they can search by the year, the type of wine, all of the different categories. So again, it's VinoCell, it's free on the App Store, and um, that's my tip of the day. Hi, my name is Helen, I'm the Chief Stew on the Ionian Princess. My stew tip for the day is wing it and the story behind this is uh, <clears throat> we were left with uh, the bare minimum on the boat in regards to to decorations so we basically took all the ornaments and used a, a Greek goddess theme um, with the three ladies that we had on board um, in keeping with some of the the other ornaments on board and that's it wing it Hi, I'm Erin. I've been the stewardess on Ready Watching for the last two and a half years. And my tip for the day is to be like the duck. So on the surface, you want everything to look smooth and calm and perfectly seamless. And underneath the water, you're paddling like crazy to get that done. So yeah, be like the duck and uh, just work really hard and have a good time. So have a great day. Hey everybody, my name is Jessica Gwen. I'm the Chief Stew on Motor Yacht Tokalon, and my tip of the day is letting go of your bride. Just let it go. You can learn from anybody and everybody, whether it's interior, exterior, second stew, chief stew, whether you're new, old, so just 
keep your mind open and take that criticism and those suggestions. Just let it go. Hello, I'm Paige. I'm the chief stewardess on Rotary Yacht Mizu. Mizu is actually water in Japanese. So my Sua tip of the day is going to be, um, I'm from Tennessee, so I'm a perfect example. You don't have to have water to get into the yachting industry. Just take that chance and you never know where the adventure will lead you. Hi, my name is Julia Cummings. I'm the second stewardess on Motor Yacht Chasseur. And my stew tip of the day is to set your table with silver polishing gloves so then you kill two birds with one stone. Hi, my name's Elle from Motor Yacht Lazy Sea, second stewardess. And my tip of the day is always look behind you. I mean, I always tell people when they first come into the industry, it's like my number one thing I tell them. As so for instance, if you're in housekeeping and you've just made a bed or you've just cleaned a cabin, don't just walk out, look behind you because you never know what you might need to fix. You might need to fix a pillow, you might have left an alcohol bottle or a cleaning bottle inside, you never know, a rag. I mean, it happens all the time. So always look behind you. And then even if you're in service, setting a table for instance, I mean, you might be so into setting this table that you are just, uh, you just like miss something. So when you look back, always look behind you because there might just be that one glass missing, one salt shaker missing. I don't know, it makes all the difference. So always look behind you. Hi, my name is Dawn and I'm from Motor Yacht Lumiere. So my uh, tip of the day slash quote, something a friend of mine, very good friend of mine, sent me the other day. And basically um, it's about friendship and it says, breaks my heart that pirates spend their whole lives following a map when the real treasure is the friendships they build along the way. And in yachting we meet lots of people and some people we hold along the way very well. So keep your friendships well. So Yorana, my name is Jenny. I'm a second steward on Mother Yacht and Jamu. And my tip of the day is love the life you live and live the life you love. Hi, my name is Courtney and I'm third stew on Motor Yacht Mim. And our stew tip of the day is when you have niggly little corners like this that you cannot hoover into, you simply get a piece of paper and you roll it up, sort of in a cone shape so that one end of the paper forms a smaller point like so. Then the handy blue tape, rip a little bit of this off. And then you get the ends of the hoover, stick it on here like so, and ta-da, you can get into the tight corners that you couldn't before. How handy. <laughs> hey, my name is Nico. Um, I'm the chief steward on MAG3. My name's Chanel and I'm the second stewardess on MAG3. So our tip of the day is going to be to make things handmade. Uh, we all know how busy it can get on trip. We all know that we all have a little creative spark in ourselves and we just, we need to feed that sometimes. If you walk on the beach, like sometimes on the boat, we have like, what, like two, three beach setups a week. Yeah. And um, so we're on the beach a lot. As interior, we always like, we always try to make time to go to the beach sometimes. And if you walk around, like if you see something like a piece of driftwood, or if you see, the garbage that are look, looks a little bit artistic. Like pick it up, do something with it. Um, be creative. Be creative. Um, like like it shows something on trip. Like for the owners, if you're a private yacht, more so because they get to know you, they get to know your creative side, and it just shows a better side of the interior and the interior crew and all. And I don't think they'll appreciate it more on a private vessel because they see the different things that you do. But like this one time we were on the beach, we found a piece of driftwood, we thought, oh great, that's a really nice, perfect piece of driftwood, pick it up. We brought it back to the boat and then we got a magnifying glass, used the sun to laser out the boat's logo onto the driftwood. Yeah, the captain out, helped us with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the captain did that. And then got cut out three holes in the driftwood so we could put candles. And so now it's a labelled piece of driftwood, but it's a can, like, candle holder. That's personalised with Mag 3 on yeah. it. And it's a piece of driftwood, like, um, it's there and washed up ashore um, and it does no harm to the environment. It's not like you're going out and go buying thousands of dollars of flowers. And um, yeah, it's just natural and just have fun with it.
and being creative and making your own things instead of just making a beautiful, beautiful design on Publisher and printing out a menu, you can just make your own menu and make it a little bit cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Judy. I am the chief stewardess on Motiot META and my stewardess tip is excellent service doesn't cost you anything, but poor service could cost you everything.